Could this taller, darker and handsomer version of the A3 be a better buy than the posh spice of the SUV world? We find out how practical, sporty and luxurious the Q3 really is and uncover a key hidden talent that makes it stand out in its class. And today we're going to find out whether this Q3 has what it takes to be the thinking person's premium family car. But first, we need to talk about pricing because at first glance, this Q3 seems like a better value offering than the Evoque. New, the Audi Q3 costs about 35 grand, which is a full 5,000 pounds less than the Evoque. Prices do get a little closer when you factor in the options you have to add to the Q3 to bring it into line with the Land Rover, and they're closer still when it comes to second-hand cars, as evidenced by the wide selection on Cinch. In fact, even the base spec Q3 gets quite a lot of kit. You've got two digital screens as standard, one in front of me here and one over there, and it feels, compared to that lounge-like Range Rover Evoque, a bit more functional, largely because you've got buttons, but it also has its own kind of Germanic contemporary style, and it works really well. It's certainly gonna to appeal to a particular type of buyer, especially if you like shortcutting your way around when you're using the climate control. I love that they've got conventional buttons down there. And the infotainment system itself is also pretty good. It's sharp and it's intuitive, and dare I say it, it's better and more responsive than the Evokes one. And you also get standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly in 2023 onwards Q3s. If you go for an older one like this one, you'll need a wire, but here's a money saving tip for you subscribers. Are you subscribed yet? Go on, hit that button. If you go online and just search for a wireless Apple CarPlay Android Auto adapter, you can buy one. They're about 50 quid and the money you save from buying an older car, well, that will easily cover that. And the part leather wing seats of this 45 TFSI S-Line model look great, as does the fully round steering wheel, although it is a bit hard edged for my liking in some bits. At least the door pockets are absolutely massive. You might think that given this is a jacked up A3, it couldn't be compared to the Evoque when it comes to boot space. But in reality, from where I'm laying, this thing feels wider and longer in the back. So much so that you didn't know I had this in the back with me here. It was laying flat on the seats ahead. And I reckon there's enough space, just about, for maybe you and a friend to go camping and lay down comfortably in here, even if they're a furry friend. Now, when it comes to dogs, it's a pretty similar experience in the back here to the Evoque. You've got a pretty flat floor with a bit of protective lip here, so it's easy for him to jump in. Although you do get the same one minor issue, which is that the parcel shelf up here is attached to the tailgate. So we have to remove it to ensure he doesn't get squashed when the boot closes. But otherwise, it's a nice and comfortable experience for him. Isn't that right, Rocky? Oh yeah, and if you're not laying on the boot floor, you can actually lift it up and click it into this space here, revealing a very usable and quite deep area of underfloor storage. And because I don't have to hold this thing up, I can, of course, use both hands to load it with carrier bags or whatever you want. So that's pretty handy. But well, what if you close the boot and the floor is still open? It's a good question, actually. Uh, surely Aldi wouldn't have made this with a design fault that smashes the window when you shut it. Anyway. There you go. Now, normally when you've got a boot that big, you do have to trade a little bit on foot space, but that's not the case in the Q3 because you've got tons of the stuff. In fact, I've got loads of foot and loads of knee room here, despite this seat being sat how I like it. And overall, this is a very spacious place. It's easy, I imagine, to spend a long time in the back of the Q3, although you'll want to charge up your smartphone because in this car, a 2019 model, you don't get USB ports. You'll have to go for a newer Q3 to get a pair of those. At least we've got very comfortable and wide seats and even the middle seat has a nice generous armrest with a couple of cup holders thrown in as well. And if you're sitting in the middle, there is a good amount of shoulder space, but you do trade on foot room because there's a bulge in the floor down there. So as a two seater in the back here, very comfortable as a three seater, a bit more slim, but overall it definitely beats the Evoque for functionality. The only place the Evoque wins, I think is feels a bit more plush. As for engines with three petrols, two diesels and a plug-in hybrid to choose from, as well as front and quattro all-wheel drive, the Audi lineup is a tad more comprehensive. The Q3 can also claim to be the more fuel-efficient model, with its most frugal diesel edging into the mid-50s for miles per gallons versus the high 40s for the Evoque. Or alternatively, if you go for one of the hot RS Q3s on Cinch, you could set your hair on fire with 400 horsepower. So we know it's well specced, but is it as luxurious to drive as that Evoque? Uh, no, but it is very nice behind the wheel here. It's comfortable, it's just easy to drive, and it's refined as well. Plus, the visibility is comparable to that Evoque. Oh, and I forgot about the key advantage that this car has over that Range Rover, and that is when it comes to towing. In fact, 
Even the petrol version of this car will tow 1.8 tonnes of brake trailer and you can get up to 2.2 tonnes of brake trailer on the back if you go for the top diesel model. Whereas in the Evoque, well that thing, no matter the model, can only deal with 1.8 tonnes. This thing easily wins. So, earlier we asked, is the Q3 the thinking person's premium family SUV to go for? And the answer is yes. Although, if your heart still yearns for that Range Rover Evoque chic, watch the video here to see why we still think it's a great buy in its own right.